After so much effort, I had finally won the first prize in the local debate contest. Yay! My parents would definitely buy me an iPhone 13 as they promised. We're sorry, Dillis. We can't buy it for you. <gasps> Why? You, you promised! We have an important business that needs lots of money. I'm sorry, dear. You liars! I got depressed and ran to my room. Why was I born into such a stingy family? Hi, I'm Dillis, a 15-year-old girl who was born into a middle-class family. You see, they are very frugal and only think about money. Meanwhile, my bestie, Ivy, is from a very <laughs> wealthy home. However, she was difficult to approach and very private about her personal life. While my mom often wore old-fashioned clothes to parent meetings, Ivy's parents always showed up together in trendy clothes and luxury cars. My mom was always arguing about school fees. Annual festival funds are wasteful. We should stop the festival to save money. While Ivy's mom stood up and declared, Rest assured, I'll be sponsoring the entire school festival fund throughout the school year. Wow, I often said to Ivy, If I had a mother like yours, I'd be very proud. There's nothing to be proud of. I wish I had a family like yours. Oh, are you kidding me? Who doesn't want to have rich parents? <laughs> but Ivy didn't reply anything. One day, she came to me. Can I stay at your house for a few days? My parents were cheerful. Of course, darling. Stay here anytime you want. You're like a daughter to us. We had a cozy dinner together. My mom complained again. The prices are getting ridiculous. Yesterday, I almost had to fight at the supermarket to buy a Black Friday sale. It made me very embarrassed. Mom, stop talking about it. Ivy's here. So what? It's true. You're always complaining about everything but broke your promise to buy me an iPhone 13. And then we got into another big argument. Jeez. That night, Ivy and I laid down and confided in each other. I'm so fed up with my family. They're so stingy. Ivy smiled faintly. I'm fed up with mine too. Why? I even wish to be your parents' child. Are you sure? If you want, we can swap our parents. Ivy looked at me seriously. Oh, mm. interesting. Okay, let's swap families for one month. During that time, we won't return to our <laughs> own house. That excited me even more. Ivy called her mom about it and was immediately accepted. And I was still angry at my parents, so I went down to them and bluntly announced, I'm going to Ivy's house to stay with her parents for a month. My mom just replied coldly, Sure, I'm too tired for a demanding and stubborn kid like you. Don't come back for the next one month. It was amazing how that crazy idea could come about so easily. The next morning, I happily carried my suitcase to Ivy's house and was ready to enjoy life. Upon arriving at Ivy's house, her parents opened the door and smiled. Welcome back, Ivy. As soon as they saw me, they were dumbfounded. Dillis, um, Ivy called you to say that we'd swap our houses for one month. Uh, did you forget? Um, right, I forgot. Ivy's dad laughed. Really? Whew, there's no need to act anymore. I wondered out loud. Acting? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, well, we have to leave for work. Have a good time at home. This is your allowance for one week. They put some money in my hand and hurriedly left. God, it was equal to half a year of my allowance. Being alone in a large mansion overwhelmed me. Rebecca, the housemaid, cooked <laughs> lots of delicious dishes for me. I happily enjoyed a spacious room and a huge gaming rig. But for many days, I didn't see Ivy's parents return home. Rebecca said they were often away from home because of business or personal affairs. One day, Rebecca resigned from her job to move to another city to live with her son. From then on, I had to stay in the big mansion alone. It was so difficult to cook for myself. A bunch of complicated, modern appliances made me bewildered. I'm not good at cooking, so the food was terrible, and I almost burned the oven. Helpless, I decided to order pizza. Just like that, for nearly a week, I started to get bored and miss the meals at home. One day, I went out to find something new to eat. On the way, I stopped by my house to peek in from the window. Ivy and my parents were gathered around a meal, <laughs> laughing and talking happily. Oh, I really missed my mom's grilled ribs and cream sauce noodles. But I had heartily sworn not to come home in a month, so I regretfully returned to that mansion. As soon as I came inside, I saw Ivy's dad hugging a young lady. As soon as he saw me, he was startled. Dulles, are you cheating? Please keep this a secret from Ivy. He even brought me an iPhone 13 to keep me quiet. 
I was so shocked. I always thought Ivy's parents were the dream couple. The next morning, a luxury car was parked in front of the house. Ivy's mom got down with a strange man. They looked very affectionate. She rushed into the house to pack and then hurriedly left. I tried to call after her. Wait, what's going on? Who is that man? She panically approached me, stuffed a stack of money into my hand and whispered, Buy anything you want and please keep this a secret from Ivy. Then she hastily left with her young lover. It was truly a shocking secret. What if Ivy knew? Should I tell her? I immediately ran back to my house, secretly opening the door to find Ivy. As I passed my parents' room, I overheard their conversation. Honey, I'm thinking we should buy Dillis the phone she likes. But our debt is also urgent. What should we do? I'm going to find a second job. I was so heartbroken when I heard that. I didn't think for my parents, but kept on blaming them. I opened the door and ran into their room crying. I don't need that stupid phone anymore. I'm sorry, mom and dad. Darling, we just want the best for you, no matter how difficult our family is. We've been missing you a lot. I'll go back to Ivy's house to pack my bags. I'm tired of living there. We hugged each other tightly again. I returned to Ivy's mansion and found her already standing by the window. Inside, her parents were signing divorce papers. I walked over to Ivy and hugged her. I should have told you sooner. Ivy said calmly, It's okay, I'll have to face this eventually. We entered the mansion together. The two of them were shocked when Ivy appeared. Ivy? Have you seen it all? She said very calmly. I know that you've both been planning to divorce for a long time, but I was afraid that if I told you, you would do that right away. I pretended not to know to see you happy together every day, even if it was just acting. Ivy's mom burst into tears. Oh, darling. At Dillis's house, I was able to eat meals with the whole family, and Dillis's mom asked me how my day went every day. I was so jealous of Dillis's family. But I think it's time for all of us to go our own path to find happiness ourselves. I'm going to study abroad and start a new life. The atmosphere turned sad and quiet, but Ivy didn't cry. She's the strongest girl I've ever known. I returned to my parents after a long time away from home. I've come to appreciate my precious and cozy homemade meals and stopped asking for too much. After that crazy swap, I realized my family is happier than a lot of other families. Now, Ivy is studying abroad in a country in Northern Europe and we still keep in touch regularly. I hope Ivy will have a happier life than before. And you? Do you love your family? I was a child when my dad broke up with mom. He told her, It's over between us because you look old. I can't date a woman with wrinkles on her face. It's embarrassing. After that, mom was never the same. She became super sensitive about her looks. And when I tried on makeup for the first time, she told me, Oh, now you try to be prettier than me? No, mom. I was just playing around a bit. Well, you look like a filthy tramp. I bet what you really want to do is seduce the boys in your class. You make me sick. Soon after, things got even worse. She started overeating and got so fat that she hated me for being thin. She told me, you are too skinny. Here, I made you bacon. No, thanks, mom. I'm not hungry. Huh? Are you afraid to become fat and ugly like your mother? Of course I didn't want my mom to hate me. I was just a little girl, after all. So I became overweight for her. But that didn't satisfy her either. She told me, ugh. Now you look like a piggy. I'm ashamed to have you as my daughter. That same day, she started an extreme diet where she ate nothing but sunflower seeds and lemonade for four months, losing 120 pounds. And she only did it so she could be prettier than me. She told me, look at my figure. Don't I look like a hot teenager? Yes, mom, you are gorgeous. Meanwhile, at school, all my friends abandoned me because they didn't want to be seen with the fat girl. I became a complete loner and it was all my mom's fault. That's why I wrote in my diary. Dad was right to leave mom. She is ugly and hideous. That's why she hasn't found a new boyfriend yet. What I wrote was super mean, but she deserved it. Afterward, it took me three years to lose the weight and find my first boyfriend, Ben. But my mom somehow spotted Ben's reflection in one of my Instagram photos. She came and told me, you are 15 and already sleeping around? You disgust me. No, mom, I'm not sleeping around. I have one boyfriend and I'm loyal to him. Really? Then why do you always dress like a hooker? That's when she went to my dresser and threw out all the clothes that she didn't like. But when she got to my underwear drawer, she found my diary. I screamed, hey, that's mine, give it to me. 
Wah, wah, I'm your mother. I can do whatever I want. I never felt more scared in my life. She read it calmly, page by page, until she found that one passage where I had written about her. She turned to me and said, So you think I'm ugly and can't get a boyfriend? No, I wrote that years ago when I was angry. I didn't really mean it. Wow. First my daughter turns into a street worker and then she calls me ugly? You will regret this. Badly. I was petrified. And the next day she pulled me out of high school so she could homeschool me. She told me, solve all these math problems before I'm back from work at six. She wanted to torture me, but of course I just googled the answers. And once I was done, I made Ben come over. I had some exciting things in mind. But right when I took his shirt off, my mom called. She screamed, I know he's there and I'm coming. At first I was terrified, but then I realized that it was too late to change things anyways. So we barricaded the door and I continued making out with my boyfriend Ben. It was exciting. When mom couldn't get in, she started banging against the door, but we just kept kissing. Well, until mom picked up a sledgehammer and smashed in the door. She said, this will be the last day of your life. She didn't exaggerate because she bought a one meter rope and tied us together. Now I had no choice but to stay at her side all day. She only took the rope off when I had to pee or go to sleep. I even had to accompany her to her office job. She somehow got me an internship there, even though I hated it. And after a year, I finally had enough. So I came up with an escape plan. During lunch at work, I went to my mom's boss table and said, Hey, I'm Miley. I've heard you are such a great manager. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Well, can I come by your office later today? Maybe you can give me some career advice. Of course, I love to do that. Normally, I don't like older guys, but he was my mom's boss and that made it exciting. And anyway, there was nothing wrong with it. I was 16 and that's the legal age of consent here in the UK. After talking with him for a few hours, he offered me a job as his personal assistant. I accepted it and suddenly spent most of my day right next to his <laughs> desk. We flirted nonstop, but when I went for the kiss, he said, I'm sorry, it's not lawful for an adult in a position of authority to be with someone under the age of 18. What? That sucks. I thought we could have some fun together and maybe even become a couple. Well, we can date each other, but first you have to quit your job here. And if you want, you can even move into my apartment. I'll pay for all your expenses, even your education if you want to go back to school. I resigned the same day, sat down on his lap to kiss him and said, My dad left me when I was a small girl, but now I have you. Thanks so much. Today, I'm 20 and my mom is still working for my boyfriend. Meanwhile, I'm studying at university to get my degree. Yay! Life seems perfect!